Let's talk about counterparts because, uh, I mean, it's, it's become, thanks to the internet, very popular, hasn't it's it? It's taken off globally. Just the amount of people getting into it, the events people are putting on, catapult clubs all over the country. Uh, and it's, it's just getting bigger and bigger every year. So if I, if I, I, mean, if, if I kind of listen to this chat and I, and I like the look of what I see on the screen, and that is an extraordinary shot. My goodness, what did you just shoot there? I don't know. What it was up in the sky. You just, you just threw something up in it. What a was marble. It? A marble. Yeah. With a... With a marble. With a marble. Like, with a, yeah. Blimey. Okay. It'll take you a little while to get, to get there. But if, but if I wanted to just get going with, with catapulting, is, is there a kind of central federation? How do I do it? Uh, the ESF, English Slingshot Federation, is the main one. And there's several other shoots popping up around and clubs. Uh, you can visit them online. Uh, just pay your membership and go, basically. And what, do, what happens when I get there? What, what do I find? Uh, friendly, a friendly bunch, very welcoming to give you tips, helpful advice. Uh, you'll have, if you're in competition, you can have anything from 10 knockdown targets at a set distance at 10 metre or 20 metre. Or just last week we was in Solihull at an event and uh, the ESF put a hunter's course on. That was 50 targets from probably that big to... 60, 70 mil. So that's like dotted round the woods. Yeah, lots all of around the woods. And yeah. it's, it's got a cross between practical pistol shooting yeah. and, and hunt was, field tar yeah, target it, with it an arrow. It took about five, six hours to get around the course, I think. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and what was your maximum? When, what could one score? 150, I think was the maximum. How would you get on? 95. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, that, was that enough to win? Or? Oh, no. No, no. It's nice to hear you're no. human anyway. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's good. Good to know. Um, so, I mean, I, I must say, I can vouch for the uh, for the social bit. I, I, yeah. I mean, when I've been we, along to anything... You've been to, to one, haven't you? Exactly, yeah. and it's great. They're lovely people, yeah. and uh, and you get to shoot catapults straight because you'll, you'll pick up tips, yep. and, you know, it's, it's a very yeah, good thing you, to you do. You can learn more turning up to one of the meets than you will anywhere else because they're just an alpha bunch. We'll basically show you where you're going wrong and put you right. Right, have you got some catapults in there? Yes. What have you brought well, along? Just brought a uh, selection from my collection, just showing some old school stuff some naturals and a couple of the newer type okay give, so us, give, give us a walk through the the, the the many and varied world of catapults and uh, oh my goodness they're everywhere <laughs> <laughs> um do, uh, pick pick up the first one you can and and and, and tell tell us what it is exactly most people who have been shooting would probably start or back in the day would have shot something like that that the i remember that being everybody's the shot the black cat something. or the diablo it was yes but uh well, the thing is, nobody shoots them no more. Really? At the shoot we was at last week, there's probably several hundred people, a couple hundred people. I don't think I've seen anybody shooting anything like this. Is it because the arm brace is kind of needlessly complicated? Uh, I think there's just too much going on, and the, the tubes that fit on them, not many people shoot tubes now. It's all the uh, flat it's band. Probably 95% of shooters now will shoot a type of flat band. Can I ask, what do the antenna on the front of that thing do? Do they detect the target? It's, apparently it's a balancing thing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't shoot that. Yeah, just well, you, you and I, okay, so you run the catapult show on, on, on YouTube, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I love doing catapult things um, yeah. uh, on Field Sports Channel. And we both got a Chinese catapult to give away to the viewers the other day, didn't we? It, was, it came with yeah. laser sights. Laser sights. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was twice the size of that thing, wasn't it? It was it, huge. It was, it was huge. Yeah. It had but it worked. Four springs. <laughs> yeah. It had rubber. It had yeah. everything. Yeah, it was you, amazing. You, I've never seen anybody shoot anything like that. You, yeah. you just wouldn't. I mean, it, it didn't yeah. have telescopic sights, but it could have yeah. done. Yeah. The laser sight. Because I don't get how a laser sight would work, because you, your wrist can move. <laughs> it's like you, you'd probably scare what you're shooting at off before you could actually get the shot off. So, yeah. So, so basically, more complicated is out now, and we're, yeah. into, we're into a simpler world, really, yeah. aren't we? Okay, what, what, what else have you got that kind of shows off that simplicity? Sim I brought a few from my collection here. These are what most people are shooting now. The aluminium types, the polycarbonate types like the Wasp. Uh, just anything simple, small and pocketable, really, now. There's no, no design that's leading the way. There's several designs, but anything pocketable, lower forks, no arm braces and flat bands. Okay, unloaded, just, just, just show how you'd, how you'd use one of those. Well, I would shoot that one, sorry. Like it is that. unloaded. Yeah, there's nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I would look down the bands to line it up and use that as a reference point on the target. And then all you need to do then is just get your elevation right up and down. Because as long as you release it right, 
in theory, it should fly in the same line of the bands, unless you're using cork balls. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, well, as, as we're about to find out. But it's interesting, on, the only thing that's actually moving is your right arm from your elbow to your wrist. So yeah. your hand's staying the same, your right hand's staying yeah, the same. Yeah, it will stay the same. And your back. left is just, un, is just, just pulled like back. That, yeah. And, and if, do you lock your right arm in? Yeah, I lock that one out, yeah. Okay, so, so once, once that's moved and in place, you, you yep. know, you, it, it's up to you to stay rigid Steady, and solid. Steady, yeah. The more you shoot, your muscle memory will, you know, the repetition of it, you, you'll get used to it the more you shoot, basically. Okay, now we've got, we have a pigeon that's about to meet a sad end. Yeah, there it goes. Hey, good <laughs> shot. Um, now, I have heard people who shoot say it's illegal to use catapults to shoot, and yet yep. it's not, is it? Not in this country, anyway. Canada it is. Is it in really? Canada, yeah. And in Germany, if it has a wrist brace on. Oh, really? Apart from that, it's pretty fair game worldwide. So the German lawmaker saw those great big technical things yeah. in the 1990s and said, no, we, we, don't, but, we don't want yeah. those. But you could shoot this, which will put out more power. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, and, and as far as humane is concerned, I mean, sometimes people say it, it doesn't yeah. provide a humane shot. Answer that one. Uh, that's down to the shooter and their... Uh, you know that you should know if you're good enough to hunt or not really you want to do it clearly obviously that's the main thing so as yeah. with as with shotguns as with anything if yeah. you're good enough to take the shot you can take the shot if you're not good enough don't take the then shot don't take it yeah and okay. use the right bands and ammo so if you hit it you're taking it down you don't want to be tickling its back and scaring it off or anything you want to you want it out basically and the great thing about this is the ammunition is so cheap. I mean, you, you can practice, practice, practice yeah, you really, can get can't you? 10,000 balls for something like, I don't know, 50 pound or something. That's that would last you years. <laughs> and if you build a catch box at home, you can keep reusing them. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. Yes, that's right. Because they're solid steel, aren't they? Yeah, solid, yeah. Size five, six? Size varies. I use 9.5. There's a lot of people who use sevens and eights. It's, it's all preference. There's, there's no right or wrong. I know somebody who shoots eights regular, and he kills everything. It's just in and out, basically. Just quick fast there you no. go yeah so it does like the it's like the 177 and the 22 argument it oh no don't yeah, no, it doesn't matter no. if it's small or big it's honestly what, what works <laughs> yeah if, if, if you want to annoy any of our viewers either bring up the 1772 <laughs> yeah. or well, that's the same that we person. have on all the with all the catapult boys <laughs> exactly. now it's like well this is better well that's better <laughs> it's, it's what you prefer no. <laughs> simple as that <laughs> now do you do you actually is this one of your own designs this that's one? one of that's one of my newer designs yeah okay we'll do a little plug shall we because you do actually some of these some of these catapults are available for sale <laughs> from, from the Gamekeeper John website, is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, what's the Gamekeeper's website? Well, my website is gamekeepercatapults.co.uk and these aluminium ones that I do are on proshotcatapults.co.uk. And, and so you work with ProShot as yeah. well? So you design I, them He's commissioned Shot. to do my metal ones okay. and then I do my own wooden ones and other stuff on my website. Okay, but there are, I mean, it's interesting that, uh, I mean, when I went to the SHAT show in Las Vegas, which is all about guns, yeah. there, were, there were catapults there as well. Yeah. And uh, I mean, some quite big makers like uh, Gamo, which actually owns BSA, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're making catapults now. And they're kind of doing them, you know, stamped out in plastic and plastic wrapped and things like yeah, that. Yeah. But they work. They work. Well, we, we know a lot of Americans on the forums and the groups that we talk to, and none of them are shooting them arm wrist ones that you no. sent the video of. So that's just like no. what you see, but nobody uses them that much. There no, is I people, obviously, but. I, I, th I think it's, you know, it, it, as you get into catapults, you realise that that yeah. design, the one you're holding, is, is, yeah. is Any, the one Anything for. small and pocketable, really. Like, what's, what's your biggest seller? Uh, it's the pocket poacher series, it is. We have a few various types in wooden, all types. Can you hold those two up so we can see a difference? Is there a difference between those two or are they the yeah. same? That is over the top. OTT. So it's called OTT, which when you pull back, the bands go over the top. And that one is a TTF through the fork, so when you pull back, the elastic actually goes through the middle. Okay, can you see, can you see the difference there? So you've got over the, over the top and through the fork. And, and what, t I mean, in terms of shooting it, what's the difference or isn't the one? There's preference. It's I'm not preference. going into that. I've got my preference, but it's each to their own. Okay, so <laughs> if, if you want to follow the Gamekeeper John preference, what is it? TTF. <laughs> TTF, through yeah. the fork every time. So yeah. band round the side. Yeah. Okay. I'm 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 a very very poor shot indeed, and I'm OTT. I shall now change. I suspect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else have you got there? Because you've got some very uh, kind of ordinary I, I wooden brought, ones. I've just brought a few out of my collection. Um, that's actually by uh, Bay Forge Catapults, a friend of mine. He actually done that out of old ironwork. Oh, the okay. The old iron, um, basically bent it round, and that's a through the fork one. And uh, um, so what was that? That was just a that was a kind of long piece of metal. Just a long just bent piece it. of iron that he's heated up and battered it basically into shape yeah 
I mean, the, uh, my dad had a catapult, which I now have, which is the old Milbro, with, yeah, um, yeah. with rather horrifyingly, it had that kind of thumb... Yeah, just um, to put your thumb in the way, yeah. And, and you would then splinter your thumbnail into a thousand yep. pieces every Seen 15 that done shots. many a time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, loads of evil. <laughs> um, but, I mean, that was a pretty classic design, wasn't it? Yeah. People still shoot them a lot. It's like the old school community that shoot them with the tubes and the big lead balls. There's quite a few still shoot them, but in tournament mode and to be the most accurate... Not many people do that either. It's, it's the flat band type that. So that's the kind of muzzle loading wo- uh, end of yeah. the uh, of the catapult world. Okay, but the wooden ones which you brought along, because I mean, there's, there is probably nothing kind of easier and simpler than going and cutting well, a good fork. I w- cut that from a tree. It looks crap. I don't <laughs> put two slots in, and uh, it took minutes to make. And I won, I won two trophies with that last weekend. No, that thing. And what? And what is it? That a bit of hazel or ash or something like uh, that? It's ash. That one is, I believe. Uh, and and you, you, you've, got, you've got two branches growing up uh, out of, you know, r- right next to each other, so it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a pretty ideal fork. It doesn't look terribly balanced, does that matter? No, it, it's not, to be honest, but I got used to shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, anybody can go and chop something off a tree and within minutes have something that works, and if you're good enough, hunt with it, compete with it. Now, you, uh, you won't be able to see it, but it, it's got, some quite cl- it's got a quite a clever little design for holding the yeah, uh, elastic in place, which is based on a, a split in the fork and then a kind of a wooden peg at the end of the, of the elastic. But, um, but apart from that, I mean, the elastic itself, you, you get that on eBay? Yeah, you can get it on eBay. I sell them, but it's, it's much cheaper to make your own. But they, they only cost a couple of pounds to buy anyway. And they will see you through 300 to 600 shots, depending on what ammo you use and... How hard you pull it? I find, I find how, how accurately or inaccurately I um, uh, managed to attach it to the catapult. Yeah. That, that one flying off always hurts. And, <laughs> the, and the pouch, is it the pouch at the end? Yeah, they're just normal leather. There's all sorts of new materials out, microfibers, levers, uh, kangaroo hide, pig skin. Uh, and to, do people get a little bit fashionable about this? You know, I, I have a Pouches are very fussy. It's a touchy subject because everybody <laughs> says one material is better than the other. But like everything else, it is preference. Okay. So I'm going to sit okay. on the fence with that one. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> you're doing a lot preference, of, yeah. A lot of fence sitting. <laughs> are we reaching a point where, you know, you're, you're going to move into, you know, professional sponsors, big uh, ticket shoots? Could it be an Olympic sport? I believe so. In China now, they, they have it televised and there's big cash prizes. They're, they're a couple of years ahead of us. But uh, I do believe the way it's going and with the committee, the ESF, the way they are running it now and that, I do think it's going to get bigger. How big... I we'll just have to wait and no, see. If you, if you, um, what, one of the problems we have with clay shooting is, you know, there, there is this idea that it's intrinsically boring. Now, yeah. we at Field Sports Channel make clay shooting films and we disagree because it's really, it's, okay, you knock that over and there's a kind of dramatic moment where it fell yeah. over. <laughs> but really, it's about you, you know, it's, it's about, yeah, and, and, and also, frankly, if they can make golf interesting, they, you know, well, we shouldn't yeah. have any problem with catapults, really, should we? So, so is it, do, I mean, do you think it's televisual enough to make it? Uh, it definitely will be, I think, yeah, because the, it really depends on the target systems as well. You want to see the targets, bro. Like, if shooting at a piece of paper, it might not be that good to watch, but like a chalk disc or something that moves and knocks down, it does make better watching. And there's so, something yeah. just wonderfully kind of viscerally brilliant about knocking over a can, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, it's, it seems different from guns and all of the stuff. That it's, I don't know, I'm not going to say you need more skill because that's unfair on anything else, but it's just a piece of elastic in the stick. You've got you to make all the adjustments yourself. You haven't got a dot, or except on that Chinese one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, or, exactly. or you haven't got your sights or anything, so it's, you sort yeah. of have to adjust to it. It has, in the past, had an image problem because it's been associated with poaching. And, yeah, uh, yeah. and there is a wonderful kind of catapulting word which sort of strays into all sorts of areas. Yeah, it does have a dark side image and stuff as well. But, but mooching is... Yeah. is, is I mean, it, and I love the idea of mooching, but I suspect there's also a kind of... You know, yeah, in the evening when nobody's watching it, time. It's, it's nice to walk out in the middle of the country with one and just do what you've got to do, really. <laughs> but then you are, you know, you, you, you're rather boring. You, you have permission to shoot on, your, on, the, on the country. On you mind, shoot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, you're, what, what, what kind of ambassador are you for the sport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a few permissions. We keep horses, so we've got permissions on those things. So keep the rabbits down, the pigeons off and whatever. And, it, and, you know, from a pest control point of view, why not? One of the things I love about catapults is that the Royal Horticultural Society website actually advises you to use catapults. You do that, yeah. <laughs> says, get rid of garden pests by a catapult. Wasn't I'm one of the royals advising one or using one? 
Did I, I hear you say that once? Oh, I'm sure. I, I, I say a lot of old talk, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it was you that said it. <laughs> I well, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I've always felt that it was, you know, it's one of the nobler things you can learn to shoot. If you can shoot a catapult straight, yeah. you know, you can, you'll probably be all right with a gun. With a gun, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we, we have got a bright future for catapulting. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's in safe hands with the committee that's got it now and the way it's going. And so. lovely people who do it. Uh, a wonderful range of what, what are your prices for catapults here? Uh, you can buy DIY kits for literally a couple of pounds, or you can have high-end cast ones up to 60, 70 pounds. There's something for everybody, really.